a Bitcoin Cash. We're going to have a fork. Wow. So what is happening? When is this? And what can we expect? Well, there's going to be a Bitcoin Cash fork. And it's going to be on November 15th, which is coming up pretty quick. What have we got? Like uh, less than a week. Hit BTC has revealed the exchange's plans to halt Bitcoin Cash transactions on that day. So if you got, uh, I guess, Bitcoin Cash on that uh, exchange, don't plan on using it. And it plans to credit all users with an additional token if a blockchain split happens, if. Additionally, Kraken has announced plans for the fork as well with airdrop support requirements. So if you have your Bitcoin Cash on Kraken, don't do anything. If it's when it splits and uh, there are two tokens, then uh, you're going to get double. But I'm going to tell you to wait because I don't think it's going to happen. So, I mean, the split's going to happen, but I, I don't know which chain's going to actually survive. Bitcoin Cash may bifurcate. Why can't they just say split? Due to the introduction of the infrastructure funding proposal added to the Bitcoin ABC code base. Six other Bcash full node clients will not adopt the IFP feature added to the software. Meanwhile, in a surprise twist, novella, Bitcoin ABC announced it will also launch a software client that is IFP free and compatible with BCHN and the rest of the full node clients. Businesses have the freedom to choose between the two chains, Bitcoin ABC's blog post notes. So really what it comes down to this, a decision on which chain will carry the Bitcoin Cash ticker on hit BTC will be taken after the completion of the fork. And then Kraken said this, we'll support Bitcoin Cash ABC only if the hash power on the ABC network is at least 10% of the hash power on the Bitcoin Cash node network. If we support Bitcoin Cash ABC, it will be called Bitcoin Cash ABC. Well, that makes a lot of sense. On our platform and represented by the ticker symbol, BAB. Fantastic. So here's the thing. I would stay away from this. I would stay away from this. In the past, people would go and they would rush in. They would grab some whatever is about the fork. and like, I'm going to be rich. It's going to be gonna be huge. Well, guess what? Here's a little history lesson. Monero did the same thing. And you know what happened to the uh, Monero private or whatever the, the new one was? It died in the chain. didn't go anywhere. So there's just one example of many. I do not think that there's going to be two types of Bitcoin cash. I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to die in the chain. But again, we will see. That's the beauty of this whole process. So let me know what you think in the comment section. And that is it for today. I just want to say thanks to everybody who signed up for the Digital Asset News YouTube channel. I just want to do some random shout outs. Uh, that is uh, Marco Giacomazzi. I think I said it right. Uh, Michael Donath, Ron Drake, No247, P Dub. That's a good one. Uh, Johnny Bitcoin, Joey Serena. Sam Keith, Sergeant Crypto, he's got a YouTube channel, check it out. Mike Minardo and Patrick May. So thanks everybody for signing up for uh, the YouTube channel, really appreciate that. Also on top of that, don't forget, danteachescrypto.com. Uh, there's a link in the description. It's at the very top timestamps. It'll say Crypto Essentials. That is the very first one. So if you want to learn things about cryptocurrency digital assets in a simplified, fast way, then go ahead and check out the website. It's totally free. All right, those so thanks for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.